Hi, my name is Ket Premji and I am a graduate student in sports management program here at Kennesaw State University. Today I am going to present um, under the topic Bring the LPGA and the Samaritan Tour to Georgia. Then the LPGA Tour stands for the Ladies Professional Golf Association. It was founded in 1950 and it is the longest women professional association in the world. Each year we can see that the LPGA Tour has grown bigger and bigger in sponsors, competitors, spectators, and TV coverage perspective. In 2015, the total price of the tour was $61.6 million, and the tour hosted 20, I mean 33 official tournaments in 2015 season which was 17 in the US, 9 in the Asia, 5 in North America, and 2 in Europe. Um, Samantha Tour is the, the next tour that I have, I'm focusing on. It, this is the official developmental golf tour for the LPGA Tour. It was founded in 1981 as a mini tour in Florida, but in around 1990s, the tour was recognized as the development the developmental golf tour for the LPGA. In the 2015 season, the total price of this tour was $2.4 million. Um, the tour had 23 official tournaments with, within 14 states in the US, and eight tournaments of those four of those 23 tournaments are in Southeast region. And then my focus is again about Georgia. So let's see what we have in Georgia. In Georgia, we have Atlanta Falcons, Atlanta Braves, and Atlanta and Atlanta Hawks. And the city of Georgia, city of Atlanta, hosted the 1996 Summer Olympic. And besides those sports, um, the jo Georgia also hosts NASCAR races, international soccer matches, and the PGA Tour tournaments. Last time Georgia hosted an LPGA tournament was in 2006. And again, Georgia never hosts the Samantha Tour tournament. So my focus is in Southeast region. There are 12 states in Southeast region, which is Georgia, Florida, Alabama, Mississippi, South Carolina, North Carolina, Virginia, West Virginia, T Tennessee, Kentucky, Maryland, and Delaware. And of course, my focus is again on within Georgia, so we we'll look what, what we have in Georgia. In Georgia, back in 2014, the population was about 10 million people, and which that, with that number, it put Georgia to rank number eight, most population in the US. And the median house, household income was um, $49,555. That with that, it made Georgia rank 36th of the nation and fourth in the Southeast region. Georgia has a total of 523 golf courses, which with that number, it put Georgia in rank third of within the Southeast region behind Florida, where uh, Florida has about um, over a thousand golf courses and North Carolina has about 600 golf courses. Trends in Southeast region. I'm pretty. I'm focusing on like the women's golf in our area. So I have. I found this that uh, ACC and SEC are the most valuable college conferences in the region. Not only the football that they are doing really well and very competitive, but in the women's golf as well. So in ACC, um, University of ACC have won seven times of the NCAA women's golf program. Duke University won six times and University of Miami won one time. For the SEC, they have won four times by the University of Florida twice and one from by the University of Georgia and University of Florida for one time as well. So the reason of this, just because the, the, the conference are doing really well, that means they has it has really good players within the university and within the, the conference so that from there they will provide the tour with the high quality of the players. 
So Brook Pancake will be my example. Brook Pancake, she originally from Chattanooga, Tennessee, and she went to University of Alabama. Then she led the team won 2012 NCAA Women's Golf uh, National Championship. And because of that, and then her, she's, re, she's a really good golf player, and now she's a member of the LPGA Tour. Whenever she played around Southeast region, if they have tournament in Alabama, she will have her fan base from, from Tennessee or from Alabama to come and watch her play. Then next, we'll look at the trends in next. Okay, it's about the PGA Women's Open. So this tournament is pretty much hosted in every state in the U.S. every summer. Um, this tournament allows both professional and women's amateur golf to join the tournament. Um, if the tour players has their extra time from playing from the tour, they can join this tournament and earn a little bit money. The tournaments usually run either two days or three days. And within our region, three states that host this tournament are from uh, in Tennessee, Georgia, and Kentucky. And we can see that the personal difference is just because of the sponsorship that they found in each state. Um, trends in golf, if you can see, I'm not sure. Um, with, for the green color, represent the adult male to play from 2000 male, adult male golfer that play from 2005 to 2014. Um, but our focus is on women's golfers. So we can see that from 2005 into 2006, the number increased a little bit, but after that in 2007, from 2007 to 2010, the number decreased a little bit. Um, at the same time, the U.S. faced the great, great, the great recession. So it's not only affect the economy, but it's also affects the golf as well. Um, during the tournament, during the tournament, even though the tournament runs for four days, the players have been there for weeks. So prior, the time prior to the tournaments, what do the players do? To the community so they have um, the junior golf clinics which allows the kids around town or around city to come and join and have a chance to talk with the tour players and the tour player will teach their technique then the players will attend in local events for example I when I played on a cemetery tour they always the staff on the cemetery tour always sent out an email said hey we have a triple-a baseball if you guys want to come and join and then the players from the tour will get recognized just before the game starts. Then the players will compete in a pro-am tournament, which that's a good time for the players to make some connection with the sponsor for the tournament. And also community services, whenever the players are somewhere and they have opportunity to meet with the high school kids or elementary school or the hospital. So that's another way to make a connection at the same time advertise the tournament so then the trends in the LPGA tour this one I am focusing on um, how do the tour how does the tour make connection with the community and how did how did came come up with the tournament so within the um, 2015 season there were 17 tournaments were host hosted in the US four tournaments that Four tournaments out of 17 was hosted in Southeast region, which was two in Florida, one in Alabama, and one in Virginia. So I found that the LPGA Tour likes to partner with the retirement communities, which um, one in Alabama was a Robert Trent Jones, which uh, the name of um, Bobby Jones, so one of the famous golfers. Um, then with that, they host the tournament in Alabama, and also the tour likes to partner with local businesses like um, Walmart and Major, which when I did this research, I found that it was very interesting that why would Walmart host a tournament in Arkansas? Why don't, why don't Walmart host a golf tournament in other um, famous states about, states that are famous about golf? But then I found that Walmart was actually founded in Arkansas as the same as major major um, was very as very similar business to Walmart and their region are more in Michigan and Indiana so it's it's not surprised that they are hosted in their 
um, city that they were found to. Then the next, the trend is the Meta Tour. Again, in the past season, the tournament hosted 23 tournaments, which was um, seven tournaments were in the Southeast region, five tournaments in Florida, two in, South, two in North Carolina, and one in South Carolina. Very similar to LPGA Tour, the Cementa Tour likes to host, um, partner with local businesses as well. Um, Mission Health was founded in Asheville, Tennessee, um, Asheville, North Carolina, um, Village of Forsyth, and City of Decatur in Decatur, Illinois, and Murphy, USA in Arkansas. Next one, again, part, uh, Cementa Tour likes to partner with the uh, retirement community very similar to the LPGA Tour. Um, they host this year at Truly More Classic in Stanwood, Michigan. But one thing that I found difference is uh, the Symmetra Tour part likes to partner with casinos. So in the past season, the Symmetra Tour partnered with four um, casinos within um, 23 tournaments, which was two in Miami, two in Michigan, one in Indiana, and one in Kansas. The trends that I found the most about um, opposing to host tournament like LPJ and the Symmetra Tour is that um, the sponsorship pull out, the title sponsorship pull out um, after the tournament was um, established. So lack of title sponsor is the main thing. Like in Georgia, we used to host LPJ Tour for over 20 years, but then it stopped in 2006 just because um, Florida's major charity didn't did not um, renew their contract for the following years of the tour. And same as Airbus, um, they had they had good the, the, the tournament in Alabama for Airbus was really good, but then somehow they just did not renew the contract for the being the title sponsor. State Farm, another good example, they would host. Uh, the title sponsor for the LPG tour in in Illinois for over 20 years but somehow just decided to move um, to move out to pull the, the company out of the being a title sponsor um, I could not find any specific reason behind um, lack uh, behind like pulling out of the sponsorship but from my I would assume that some of the company they might have new interest in new area they might not want they might not, they might want to um, sponsor in a new new sports maybe other sports besides women's golf or maybe they just don't see the interest in hosting the LPGA events anymore. So what do I after I do all the research and then I come back to Georgia? What do we have in Georgia? We have yes we have retirement communities in Savannah, St. Mary's, and. St. Simons, yes, we have over 500 golf courses that at least one of them will meet the requirement of the LPGA Tour or the Symmetra Tour. And of course, we have a lot of well-known businesses that created or based in Atlanta, like CNN, Southwest, um, Georgia Aquarium, Versity, Delta, Chick-fil-A, and Coca-Cola. So if one of these companies decided to host to become a title sponsor for either LPGA or the Cementa Tour, that would be great. But one thing that we didn't have based on my research, we did we don't have casino. But the only we don't have casino, it's it's not gonna be it's not enough reason for us to to not host a tournament. So um and uh, for from the research, so from the research I predict that we have all everything but the casino. So what I think and I hope that the LPGA tour and the Symmetra tour will come to Georgia, will have an event in Georgia any, um, sometime soon in the future. And I have a few questions to, for you guys to think that if we have, if we host other professional sports like baseball, basketball and everything, NASCAR, soccer, why can't the LPGA tour and the Symmetra tour host a tournament in Georgia. Why not women's golf? So, if you guys have any questions, can ask me later and email me or something. Thank you very much for your, um, thank you.